Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial, I'll talk about a customization called Recurring Invoice and Charging Late Payment Interest. Normally, this customization is applied for property management company where they need to charge a hundred or even thousand of invoice every month. And the amount is the same for every month. Sometimes they need to charge late payment interest on the overdue amount. So this customization will be very helpful. Of course, let's say you are not property management, you are others industry, but same things you need to charge recurring invoice or maybe late payment interest as well. You may also apply for this customization. Let's log into SQL and see how it works. After log into SQL accounting system, the first thing that you need to do is understand the concept of generating multiple invoice is actually based on quotation template. Under quotation, you can create different template. For example, maintenance. This is one template. So over here, you can select your item code, let's say the maintenance. What is the charges? Okay, sinking fund, fire, or other things that you want to charge for a group of customers. So let's say you have 500 tenants, and 500 tenants is based on these charges. Then you set like this. And the most important thing is quotation number. Quotation number is actually customer category. When you maintain your customer, remember you need to create your customer and categorize them differently. By doing this way, when you go to quotation just now, what will happen is all customer under the same category, when you click generate bill, let's say you have 500, it will automatically generate 500 invoice. Instead, you create one by one, in all, and it's all based on the same customer category. This is one way to do. Okay, the second way is instead of create different customer category, under maintain customer, there's a tab called meter reading. You can put in based on square feet and unit price per square feet. This way, it set the pricing per customer. Every customer can have different charges. But what if for property management, you say that it's not only based on square feet, it's also based on number of car parks or certain add-on facilities. So we have 500 tenants, all these 500 tenants may be different. Then how to do? Very easy. What you need to do is ignore the square feet and just put as one and put in the amount that you want to charge. Let's say maintain is 500 plus one car park is 100, total 600 per month. So for this customer, every month you want to charge him 600, then you charge, you put in like this. Same for others industry. Let's say, for instance, for my case, for every customer that want to sign up SQL accounting system maintenance is 800 ringgit and each additional user that you have is another 50 ringgit per year. So for a basic user, only single user, I will put square feet as one. This is the quantity and I charge 800. So this will be single user. And let's say you have three users in total every year i charge 900 so i just put like this so there's two ways one is totally based on the customer category which i need to set the amount under quotation template another way is set over here if you set like this remember for this customer you need to take on use maintain customer price then it will use this formula instead okay after you have set up, then you go back to your 
quotation. Let's say now you want to charge the maintenance for October. Okay. And for shop, and this is based on maintenance. If you satisfied, then you can click on general view. Of course, let's say over here you want to change to use the unit price and based on square feet, then you can set accordingly. So if not, then I just put like this, save it. And today's date, the date that you want the invoice to be dated. That means this is the invoice date. And I put, and then I click generate view. System will show you there are three tenant or three customer under this category, and everyone you want to charge 475. Then you click OK. Finish. So what happened? When you go to sales invoice, you see the date. This is the three invoice. And it actually duplicate or transfer the whole information from the quotation template into invoice. And behind the screen, right click, anticipate, show double entry. The debit credit or the accounting part of this invoice have been done and already update to profit and loss. So imagine you have 500, 1000 customers that you need to generate the invoice every month just with a single click. Everything already done for you. So this is the recurring invoice module. Now, what if you want to charge okay, late payment interest? Very easy. Just go to stock maintain stock item okay maintain an overdue item and the reference price is the rate that you want to charge and this rate is the yearly rate let's say i put 0.13 then this is every year you want to charge 13 percent let's say i change it to 15 that means it's 15 percent per year okay then after I maintain this, I go to customer, I go to customer, print customer due document over here based on overdue, I apply. This is all the overdue invoice. So you can see that the interest rate is 15% per year. From this 15%, system will divide by 365 days multiply by the overdue amount to get the unit price and use the unit price then multiply by the number of days so the system will actually charge the interest based on daily basis what you need to do is click on post to debit note the end click over here are you sure yes and let the system run to generate the debit node. Posting done. Open debit node. And you can see that system automatically generate the debit node to charge the interest. And inside is based on the individual item that is overdue. This is how SQL recurring invoice and charging late payment interest customization work. This definitely will help property management company as well as any other industry that require recurring invoice and late payment charges. If you are interested in SQL accounting system or SQL payroll system, or you want to change your SQL yearly support maintenance to us, do contact us directly. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you. Mm -hmm.